Hi, Jasmine. My name is Daphne. I'm one of the essay correctors here at artspodcast.com. Thank you for sending in your essay for correction. Happy to give you some feedback on that today. Uh, I really hope that you are well. Um, let me know your IELTS story. Have you done the exam before? Or is this the first time you're doing it? Okay, so question. International marketing is sometimes seen as invasive and an intrusion to the country in question. Others argue it's necessary and an economical form of education. Okay, discuss both views uh, and give your opinion. Uh, you need to show me very quickly in this essay that you understand what international marketing is. And the way you do this is to paraphrase. So you've paraphrased nicely this idea about disturbs the privacy of a country. I like that. But you need to tell me what you mean by this. And we're talking about advertising, uh, so not trade, which I think you understand. But I think you need to say, so people have different views about global, so I would say here global advertising. campaigns so give me some vocabulary in here global, uh, global marketing campaigns uh, and so keep connect this together here it doesn't need to be um, make your sentences a little bit longer and um, some or you could say and whereas maybe we link this nicely some believe that it disturbs the privacy of a country involved why so because of just give me a little indication of where your essay is going to go. Uh, I personally think it benefits the nation and people tremendously. Okay, all right. Uh, then you want to introduce your essay. This essay, discuss, sorry, these key issues using examples from. And you want to just, just introduce your essay to the examiner. Okay, tell me where you're going to go. On one hand, opponents believe that there is a hidden agenda related to international marketing. Okay, uh, which is what? Uh, so what is it? So this is the how you expand your essay. Okay, uh, this could be because, or this be because could be because of. So tell me, what is this hidden agenda? Um, most of the victims, now this is very strong victims, okay, a victim of crime, I don't think I would use victim of this marketing, I like you to be teenagers because they tend to believe whatever they see or hear without checking, okay, yeah, absolutely, so I, I agree with that, but you need to develop this more before you get into your example, your example should kind of be finishing off what you're saying here, it's like you're missing a little bit of a line there. For example, when a global clothing company advertises products and trends on the internet, many youngsters start to believe that global brands are better than their own. Okay, and why is this a problem? Why, why is this a problem? So this is your idea of it being uh, an intrusion, but why is this a problem? Yes, it causes more harm than good. So this idea, which I think is absolutely right, you could develop that more before you. Um, I put that up here, this idea. Uh, as part of your development rather than for me this is a really important sentence so don't put it at the end of the paragraph develop it so my comment would be in terms of your coherence uh, so the cohesion of coherence I think the there's a sort of organization issue in this paragraph which would stop you from scoring highly on the task response because you're not really giving me enough depth in your answer here uh, and also in terms of grammar, all this is in the present tense. So can we get more complex sentences in here? Can we get a more variety of different tenses? Okay. On the other hand, it's true that international marketing does educate people in terms of giving them a new perspective about important things in life. Okay, that's interesting. Yep. Uh, what would those be? So what? For instance, local businesses may learn new ways to improve their products and their own marketing or advertising or campaigns or social media presence so you need to give me some more vocabulary here so they could be successful as well as contribute to their country's economy good furthermore people around the world can now read uh, watch or read advertisements as they are available so they are available in every part of the world and um 
are likely to become more aware of other people's language, culture and way of living. OK, so you could say and are uh, usually adapted to suit the target country. I'm just going to write that down for you. Um, modified. So this kind of higher level um, sentence in terms of vocabulary is more what you want to be aiming for. Okay? So I wouldn't say really beneficial, which is more literate societies around the globe. Okay, yep, that's fine. That really is too informal. Uh, in conclusion, international marketing may have setbacks in terms of privacy, but you haven't talked to me about privacy. Where have you talked about privacy? Uh, you need to kind of, again, develop that. But overall, positive impacts are more for people, regardless of their ideologies and beliefs. OK, um, so here, yes, you've made that point in terms of the education, privacy. Mm, I think you need to expand that. Um, so I think you've got some good things in here, Jasmine. Um, I hope this is helpful for you, this correction. Um, I would suggest, depending on when your exam is, you have a look at the online course that we do, which really breaks down these task two and task one questions into small sections. We do videos to show you how to do them. We do lots of essay corrections like this. So you would have 10 uh, essay corrections, including two bonus ones uh, I can offer you. Um, so 10 essay corrections, video module showing you what to do, lots of practice to really expand and develop your ideas and help you to achieve what you want from this very difficult exam. Uh, so uh, yeah, good luck and uh, yes, l um, have a look at the course as I say.